Well, for this project, we'll be creating a filter which filters out a sound file because there's noise in it. So we're going to go ahead and create a block from a, to get our signal from MATLAB. We're going to use the FFP spectrum and, a, and an audio device so when we play it, we can actually hear it. So we're going to change the name of our uh, signal to row 3 because that's what the file is called. And we're going to change the sample size. After changing the sample size, we're going to have to connect the FFT spectrum to our uh, signal from our workspace. Now, if you actually play this, uh, you cannot hear it through this program, but in actuality, you can really hear the sound and the noise inside. Make sure that you set these values correctly, as I have. Um, also, we're going to, and right now, we're going to go ahead and play the file so we can see where in our spectrum in our frequency spectrum this uh, this noise occurs from the file from the audio file while this is running we need to build an FIR filter you will need to have built so that it filters out the noise our wanted noise and for this we have to write a code the code I already have written to save time it's this is you could search it in the help menu FIR it's a 1300th order filter and this is going to be a band stop filter and zooming in, you can actually see what frequency the noise occurs at, and that's those these values are based off of the off the frequency value because you want only that portion filtered. You must run the file so that the so that it's saved, and this is actually what the filter is going to look like. The filter is a band stop filter, and since the order is very high, it cuts off, it dives down really fast. We need to add an FIR filter block to do the filtering for us and we're going to connect the new spectrum to this you can just copy paste the spectrum since the values are the same since the settings are the same now uh, we need to change the FIR filter block the internals of it so that it, it matches with the filter to the left that we wrote a code for and we're just going to change it to H because we have to make those match the filter results and what goes in the block and now running the filter we're gonna have two spectrum scopes and we'll see the difference we see the filtering what happens now we need to auto scale these so we see the before and after and as you can see the filter on the right has the spectrum on the right has the noise cancelled out completely the decibel reading is very low Thank you for listening. This was how to filter out a noise using Simulink band stop filter.